So, you've heard of Adobe After Effects, you may have heard of Apple Motion, you might have heard about a Sony Vegas effects stuff thing, whatever you want to call it. But have you heard of Cavalry? If you've never heard of it, then join the club, sister, because up until a while ago, I didn't either. But it's a fantastic motion graphics editor that really rivals everything else in terms of just base functionality, and it's still in beta. I've paid good money for editors that either had way too much or way too little. I'm looking at you, Vegas Effects. With that in mind, I'd like to go over Cavalry in a little bit more detail and see if this free alternative to everything else is really what you're looking for. Before we begin, I'd like to mention two things. One, the audio is going to sound real bad because I'm using the internal mic on the camera. That's going to be fixed soon. But I would also like to mention that I also stream on Twitch every Thursday and Friday at 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, so if you would like to talk about the world's most pressing issues, and I mean anime and everything else related to tech and streaming and everything like that, you can join me. Link to be that, that will be down below. Anyway, enough stammering, let's get on. So Calvary is a motion graphics editor that is similar to Adobe After Effects and Apple Motion and Vegas Effects, if you're really inclined to use it, that offers the same functionality. Just, it's still in beta right now and it's free, so I can't say for certain it will cost anything once it's out of beta and the final release build is released to the public. So we'll have to wait on that one, but for right now, it's a free alternative and it's a very usable alternative. Cavalry boasts all the basic tools, a move tool, a pencil tool, shape drawing tool, etc. It also includes some more advanced tools for making animated effects and maps which are very important because they allow you to do some really cool things, but I won't go into too much detail about it right here. Those effects are for particular interest because Calvary has a ton of them. A ton, like the Atom effect, for example. The Atom effect is a little interesting. It allows you to take things like JS Math. JS Math allows you to input a small, but not complicated algebraic expression into the input, or whatever you want to call it, and then you can get various results out of it. Now, depending on that, that value that you get out of it will determine the effect that is given. I won't go into too much detail about JS Math because frankly it's a lot of programming jargon that you don't want to hear about. But just know the, the functionality is there and you can use it. Now, unlike some other alternatives like Blender, which in and of itself is a very competent motion graphics editor, its UI isn't really built for that kind of thing. As a result, it has a very steep learning curve. Trust me, I tried. But Calvary, on the other hand, is built from the ground up specifically for motion graphics, and its UI reflects that. It's timeline-based and includes a very easy, accessible graph editor. Now, those are very important, at least to me, because it allows you the, to edit the curve of your animation. Now, a curve is simply just basically a path of speed that an anime will... Or anime? <laughs> animation! <laughs> We're not talking about waifus here. <laughs> Unlike a waifu, the basic curves that you can get through a graph editor, like the one found in Cavalry, will allow you to make animations like the one you saw at the beginning of this video with the intro. That was made in Cavalry, and you want that smooth animation because it's not only the trend these days, uh, with a lot of things, but it's also good looking and it's very pleasing to the eye when you use it. So the fact that Cavalry does include one of these is very good, because a lot of editors don't include one, unfortunately, as far as I've seen. Now, if you're like me and you frequently want transparency in your animations, this next bit is going to be very important. At least in effects, you have to use the GoPro Cineform format in MOV or AVI. And yes, it can export alpha, but Vegas Effects will not export the damn alpha at it. I've tried many times over many exports just trying to get it to get in there, and it won't do it. Calvary, on the other hand, is like, you want to export in ProRes? I'll do it. You want to export in ProRes 4444? I'll do it too. You want transparency in it? Oh, I'll certainly do that. It was so painless getting transparency into my video file with Calvary. It was like, why did I even bother with Vegas effects to begin with? So I canceled my subscription and moved over to Calvary. But overall, the quality of the video given and the time it takes it to export, and especially in ProRes 4444, which is the only video format it currently supports exporting as, by the way, it does not use the FFmpeg codec, which is kind of a downer, even though it's based on many open source libraries. It still doesn't use it, which I would like it to see, use FFmpeg sometime in the future, because FFmpeg is not used enough. It is so good in the open source community that I'd love to see it in anything I can. But for now, if you just want to get animation out of there in a transparent format, ProRes will do you. Enough said. 
But is Calvary right for you? Well, that depends on some factors, two specifically. In these trying times, a lot of people were out of work. And as a result, even if they want to use some of the big name brands like Adobe or Apple or Sony Vegas, I still don't recommend it. Um, they may not have enough money to afford these things, even if they want to use them. So they have to look to other alternatives. If you want to know how I came across Calvary to begin with, I was just looking for alternatives for uh, Adobe After Effects and Apple Motion on Linux. Linux, my laptop runs Linux. NVIDIA GPU, Intel C, that's never not important, but I was trying to find an alternative for Linux. Now, Calvary does not have a Linux version, but if I didn't run a Linux laptop that I'm trying to make my daily driver, at least for that, I'm trying to split up my workflow here, it was a miracle I came across to begin with. But if you have no money, Calvary is a good option. It gets the job done, it gets the job competently, and it's free for the time being. Again, I don't know if it's gonna be anything when it comes out. On the other hand, Calvary does not have as much of a learning curve as you say with anything else. But you could say the same thing about MS Paint if for some godly reason you haven't used it before. It's all about what you, as the content creator, want to use. There are a ton of choices out there, and Calvary is just one of them. But for a project aiming to be the best of the best like no one ever was, it's very promising to see something this good this early on in development. You won't be getting any third-party support for add-ons anytime soon. But for what it can do right now, it's fine for the vast majority of content creators, regardless of your income. Can I do this outro in three minutes? <laughs> do this outro? In can I do this after in three minutes and 55 seconds? I think I can. So that was a interesting video. I'm still trying to figure out this kind of concept that I'm trying to do for videos. That was my screen going blank right there. Don't mind that. Um, but Calvary is very competent. I like it. I'm going to continue using it over the next few months, years, however long it takes me to figure out something different or better if I want to change. And I'll give you some updates on Twitter to figure out what exactly you need and how you can use it. Bad way of saying it, all I'm trying to say is you can follow me on Twitter, that's where I basically post any other updates, including including funny gifts about or if, including including gifts that are irrelevant to the entire context of the tweet. Check my Twitter for that one. That was one of my favorite gifts I ever posted. But you can follow me on Twitter. You can I post any other updates there. I also have a Discord. Everything will be also posted down below, by the way. Uh, Discord we talk about basically anything else that we talk about on the stream. The Discord is very, very heavily Empire focused because I loved Civilization VI and Civilization VI is one of my favorite games. I think I posted like, how, how many hours did I post them? 814 hours. That is how much I love Civ VI. But you want to talk about anime, manga, tech, UB2, OBS, all that crap, you can start to talk about it there. <laughs> this GIF, man. This GIF is the best thing I've ever seen. I love it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.